Hello everyone, in today's video we will be solving one of the previous year question papers of the physics optional. So here's our question. So we have to show the variation of density of states and distribution function for a system of particles in a non-relativistic Fermi gas which is at high temperature. So we have to plot this for high temperature and non-relativistic case. And there's a second part at a temperature T, an electron occupies a state with an energy 100 milli electron volt above the Fermi energy with a probability of 1% and finds the temperature T. So this is our question. So first we have to plot the curves for density of states and distribution function for high temperature and secondly we have to find the temperature where an electron occupies a certain energy level above the Fermi energy and having a probability of 1%. So let's start with our answer part. So firstly we have to write the expression for density of states which is given as 2 pi v h cube 2 m 3 by 2 e half and this is the density of state for 3D system. Similarly we can find out for 2D, 1D and 0D system. So here in 3D system our density of state is directly proportional to e t power half. So for lower energy level the square root is approximately equal to 0 and as we increase the energy the plot goes like this. This is a parabola, half parabola, e t power half. So this is our plot for density of states. So it's simple. Now move on to the next curve that is distribution function. The temperature the electron starts gaining energy and moving to higher energy levels. So this plot, this uh, square plot becomes more spread as it electrons takes the higher energy levels. So this is our T1 plot where this is higher than absolute zero and we, if we are further increasing to T2 temperature which is higher than T1, it is this spread the range of energy levels the electron is occupying increases. So slightly as we further increase the temperature this spread increases as because as we know the temperature increases the electron gains the energy thermal energy to go to higher energy levels. So this is a plot for distribution function as a function of energy and we can see one more thing as an energy as our energy becomes equal to EF this whole terms goes to 1 because this goes to 0 then this this distribution function becomes 1 this is 1 plus E power 0 this is becomes half so it is a 50 percent probability so this electron probability becomes half. So this is our curve, both the curves. Then moving on to the next part where we have to find out the temperature for an electron. There's an electron occupying an energy level 100 milli electron volt plus EV. If this is, if this is an EF, Fermi energy for any particular system then this is somewhere our energy level is. So this is this difference is 100 milli electron volt. So our E minus EF becomes 100 milli we can write this tends for minus 3 electron volt so this becomes 0.1 electron volt so we have to find the distribution probability which we can calculate with using this function e minus ef by kt where we have to find out this t we are given with the probability that it is one percent probability of finding that electron in that particular energy level so we can write this as 1 over 100. So this becomes 1 over 100. And we know E minus EF is equal to 0.1. We 
we know the k value it's the boltzmann constant so you put this value and we can find that t value so this kv value is equal to 1.38 into 10 raised to power minus 23 so this is our boltzmann constant value so simply have to put all these values so finally i will give your answers so we have to do the simple mathematics so 1 plus i will do some steps and then i will write the answer so you can do it on yourself and later on check the answer so this exponential 0.1 over kbt becomes 99 this 0.1 kbt over log n 99 which is equal to 4.6 you can calculate this and now we just have to like 0.1 4.6 into 1.38 in 10 to the power minus 23 is equal to t this t will be in kelvins so you can calculate this this comes out to be 252 kelvin temperature so this is our answer for this question if you want to have the proof of the density of states expression you can tell me in the comment box and then if you have any doubts related to this topic and if there is some problem you are facing you can write me in the comment box and thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and please hit the like button